Hey guys, uh, I got a couple of requests for this one. Uh, I apologize, I know it's been a while since I put any kind of a video up, but I've been kind of busy. Uh, things are starting to wind down, the, uh, the fall leaves are finishing up, so uh, hopefully I'll have a little more time to uh, <clears throat> be able to film some more videos. I uh, actually had a couple requests for this one um, regarding uh, the restricted drops when the turret holds the pins when it releases the pins how that all works so there's a couple of components that go into that um, I'll try to show you that as best as I can uh, the first thing we need to look at is let's see I have the machine at 270 right now with the deck and everything down and the machine unplugged I don't mention that in a lot of my videos and I should you should always Pull the plug and make sure you're safe. Um, first thing we want to do is look down into the five chute here. You can see that that's the pin release lever. Um, when this is in line with the cross conveyor, when the five pin drops through, it presses on that and releases all the pins. Um, that's all hooked up down here through this spring to that, which is the interlock probe which is what contacts the blocking fingers, which I will show you shortly. Um, basically, if I pull this out, it will on the, it's going to do this one hand, but if I push on this spoon here, the spider will move and drop the pin. Spoons are half a turn ahead now, and just push them back, and it'll lock in. So that's that's the first half of it. Is that right here? The interlock probe that comes off of the five pin chute. Now, this might be where I have a, a little bit of a problem filming because it's a really bad spot. Okay, you got the top of the cross conveyor here. And your index lever down there that the pins hit that indexes the turret. If I come down here and go underneath the lever, you, those are the blocking fingers right there. There's two of them. They're both down right now because the deck is down for one and it hasn't released the full deck signal yet. One of the fingers will always be down when the deck is full so that it doesn't dump 10 pins on top of 10 pins and the other one moves up and down with the deck I'll show you this from the back maybe right, so I might be able to from here that little projection right there which is connected to the deck lift shaft and controls that finger, that blocking finger going up and down Here, in here, right there. That's the bottom of that little projection, and it's bolted onto the deck lift shaft and connects all the way up to that finger. Okay, so now what I would like to do, if I can, is fire the machine up and just show you. When those blocking fingers are up, the interlock probe that I showed you can travel its full length and go underneath of them, and call, it'll allow it to release the pins. If either one of them are down, either because the deck is down or it's already full, it's going to contact that finger and it won't, won't release the pins. Okay. Let's fire this up. Once the next pin comes up, let's we'll see. It'll hit right into them. That's what stops it from dropping the pins. 
now. Like the new set, it will see once the deck comes up, it'll move. Come up and then the finger. As you can see right now, the one finger's up, which is the one that controls whether the deck is up or down, because the deck is up and the moving deck's forward, so it's ready for pins in that state. But the other finger here is down because the deck's already full. Second ball and cycle for you. You'll see, you'll hear a click, and that other finger will unlatch. Now those blocking fingers are out of the way. So once it gets to the five pin, there's nothing stopping it, and the pins are dropping in the deck. I'm just going to cycle it to 90 degrees and stop it. And let's see. Now the fingers are opposite. But the deck is empty, so the one finger is up. But the deck isn't up, so it still won't allow it to drop in because it contacts the other finger. We set it here. Lift the other finger out of the way, and that's how that works. Uh, there's one other thing I should show you uh, for the full deck finger, which is right there. There's a little flag, and you notice that roller underneath of it. That's attached to the deck lift shaft also. That's what unlocks the blocking, the full deck blocking finger. When it gets around 270 degrees, that'll come all the way up and unlatch it. So I'll try to get a shot of that for you also. Now both blocking fingers should be up. gets here. That's pretty much all there is to it, really. Uh, a bunch of little things working together, but we just the, the two separate blocking fingers, because the deck always has to be empty for it to release, and it also has to be up and have the moving deck fully forward. I know I had at least uh, at least two requests for that, so Hopefully that answers some of your questions. Uh, I thank you guys again for all the subscriptions, comments. I'm getting a nice little influx of subscribers, which is really cool. And uh, all the likes that you guys give me. I appreciate it very much. Uh, summertime's coming. It should slow down a little bit, so hopefully I can get some more videos for you guys. Keep the requests coming. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.